actually this is stupid because first of all I just understood my ADHD lonely but not when you hold me your beauty weighs on me this So, I wrote out a couple notes. I might be reading off my computer just to keep myself on track because scatterbrain, this video will never get done. But basically, I wanted to talk about qualitative and quantitative consciousness. I'll get to this board in a minute, but I wanted to talk about that before I continue the part two to the Trinity Within Me, which is my Shroom Experience series, where I'm talking about, I'm basically sharing my experience on psychedelic mushrooms for educational purposes and research. Um, you see, the last time I was on shrooms, or this most recent time, it was all about the balance between my higher self and my material self. It was a constant awareness of the duality within me and how we were supposed to work together to accomplish things. You see, I don't think I really would have understood what exactly was happening to the extent that I did if I hadn't comprehended qualitative and quantitative consciousness. I'm going to read off of um, a blog post that I made three months ago, verbatim. Basically, I went like this. There is something I talk about called qualitative and quantitative consciousness. Before we get into this, let me explain both for you to understand where I'm going with this. To begin, I need you to understand that everything in this world is consciousness, a type of consciousness. Your computer is a type of consciousness. Something doesn't have to be alive and breathing in order for it to be considered a type of consciousness. Quality consciousness, that's the first one, is the aspect of consciousness resulting in species manifestation, as electricity, trees, fruit, man, or a crystal, or so on. Quality C, is what I shorthand called it, is in evolution and therefore in degrees. In this plane of existence, the very aspect of something in this world, in this obstructed universe, is in, is given by its degree. Um, I made a TikTok video about this. I won't go too, I won't elaborate too much on it, but when I think of degrees and how it is a species manifestation, I think of the human being as and getting their birth chart. Their birth chart gives is all in degrees. It tells you all about you as a human being in the degree of a human being. I'll get to that later. Um, moving on to quantity of consciousness. That would be the development by the individual past its quality given in degrees. So for example, we as humans have come as a qualitative consciousness in the degree of a human being. Our quality of consciousness cannot be changed, but we can evolve, which would be the quantity of consciousness. So basically saying, we can be better humans, but we cannot change the fact ever that we are in fact human. Just as a crystal can never change the fact that it's a crystal, neither can a dog or a computer or even the air. It's still a quality aspect of consciousness that it was chosen in this plane of existence. This is how my brain works. You cannot ever change the degree in which you came into this world when it comes to quality of consciousness, okay? So with that being said, I wanted to move on to, you know, describing it a little further. Okay, so here I basically just summarized everything. Qualitative and quantitative consciousness. Quality C, quantity C, the C is consciousness. Quality C, the aspect of consciousness resulting in species manifestation. This is what tells us, oh, okay, when you come into this plane of existence, your material self, the body, the vessel that you're gonna embody is going to be this. It's gonna be a tree. It's going to be an inanimate object. It's gonna be electricity. It's gonna be the air. It's gonna be, in your case and in my case, it's gonna be a human being. Your soul is going to get trapped, your spirit, whatever, is gonna get trapped in a human being, in the degree of a human being, in the degree of a crystal, in the degree of a whiteboard. This is consciousness, okay? 
quantity C, the aspect of consciousness responsible for the development by the individual past the quality given degree. Now, when it comes to this, I just want to say something. A human being is the highest degree of consciousness in this plane of existence. A human being is the highest degree. We are one of the smartest creatures on this plane, on this planet, on this in this plane of existence, and we're stupid and we do stupid stuff. But we are the highest degree of consciousness. And what we can do with that, Dolores Canyon, she's a psychic, if you want to look her up, um, she talks about how we come into this plane of existence. She says we come onto earth, into this earth school. I don't like to so separate us so far, but we come into this plane of existence to manipulate energy, to learn how to create, to learn how to manipulate energy. Once we do that, you know, you move on. And so you come into this lifetime to experience life. And by doing that, and, and to experience life, you have to do things. You have to manipulate energy. You have to manipulate lower degrees of consciousness. I read this and learned this from Stuart Edward White, one of the books that I'm reading, one of the books that I read, The Unobstructed Universe. Stuart Edward White talks about how when it comes to living life, we are just supposed to learn how to manipulate lower degrees of consciousness. Let me try to make that make sense. So I always like to share life experiences in hopes that, I don't know, um, you can, to kind of get you in my head to, in hopes that it makes sense. So coming back here before I give the example, quality C is in evolution, therefore in degrees. So to explain again, we have a tree would be in the degree of a tree. Um, electricity would be in the degree of electricity. It's still consciousness, it's just now playing with character. The character is given by the degree. Um, or what character you get is the one that is of that degree. Degree of a computer, degree of an apple, degree of fire, and the degree of human being, the highest degree. There's also, you know, like a degree of a teddy bear. This is a type of consciousness. And the reason I'm talking about this, this is Coco. Um, when I was a kid, this was literally everything to me. Um, I made like a connection to, you know, my stuffed animals like every kid does. But growing up, something within me was always like, I don't want to get rid of that. Like, that's a big part of me. And, um, and, and I always remember when I was a kid, I, I was like, no, they're alive. They're, and, and I knew like, they're not alive, like breathing, but they were alive to me in a way that like, they still meant something like they, they were a certain type of being. And this is when I was a child. Um, as I was making this video, I had this idea and this is why I wanted to share this part. My teddy bear was alive to me, you know, I had, just, just like a, a, an imaginary friend would be alive to other people. I never had an imaginary friend, but I had like teddy bears. And as a kid, we're so connected to that source-like energy, to, to consciousness, to that pure type of energy, to where I felt connected to everything around me because everything around me was me. I was the same type of consciousness that is this teddy bear, only I'm a different degree. I hope that makes sense. Now, when it comes to evolving, the human being, because we're the highest level, we it's so complex, this life. Of course, we have to know so many things in order to evolve, in order to move, in order to grow. A teddy bear, though we might be the same type of being, though we might be the same type of consciousness, what does a teddy bear in this plane of existence have to evolve for? It doesn't need to manipulate any lower. I mean, the best I could do is be like, okay, it, I just need to make sure that I don't get it dirty. It just has to evolve as a clean, I don't know. But like a teddy bear doesn't really have that big of a job as someone at, at a higher level of consciousness does, at a higher level of degree of consciousness. I really hope I make sense. Um, we all come into this plane of existence to do a job. Just like, let's say when I learned about the air, the element, the elemental, the element air. It came on earth long time ago, it had a job. It was still a conscious being. Dolores Canyon said she would go back into pa people's past lives. And some people in their past life, they were the air, they were fire. They would come onto this earth before humans existed and they would clean and circulate the air so that it would get ready. We come in each lifetime with a job to do depending on whatever form aspect, depending on whatever degree of consciousness you are, you have to follow that. As a human, we have a job that we have to do and um, that's to develop, to grow. 
and this is how I grow. My shroom experience, um, spirituality, science, this is all teaching me how to grow, how to be a better degree of a human. And I hope that, um, I hope that I can kind of make that make sense to the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, bye guys. And remember to always be kind. Ouch, I just hurt myself. Listen. Only.